Biden backed the clampdown at an event with Secretary Sula Braverman over concerns of abuse of artificial intelligence could overwhelm the internet. The total of 27 organizations backed the move, including the Internet Watch Foundation, along with the governments in the U.S. and Australia. The IWF showed thousands of images could be found on the dark web, seen as realistic enough to be seen as real imagery under United Kingdom law. Home Secretary Sula Braverman stated, Minor images online are generated by AI. Our online scourge. Quote, this is why tech giants must work alongside law enforcement to clamp down on their spread. These pictures are computer generated, but they often show real people. It's depraved and damages lives. The pace at which these images have spread online is shocking. And that's why we have convened such a wide group of organizations to tackle this issue head on. We cannot let this go unchecked. Meanwhile, the City of London are calling for more short-term businesses visas to be granted to allow more international workers to develop AI technology. As Hayward Police Chairman stated that it is also important for firms to develop homegrown talent in the developing sector. And this is why I've stated over the years on a multitude of platforms, it is very important that women are very careful. Um, of putting images directly out there of their families, of their children. Because nine times out of 10, if you happen to go onto a woman's IG, if you go onto her Twitter, if you go onto uh, her TikTok and different things of that nature, a woman is going to show off her family. And nine times out of 10, it's going to be a child. And I tell women all the time that you never know where any of these images could just so happen to go. A lot of women have Facebooks and all the types of social media, and they always have their... A child or their children directly posed with them or by themselves. Again, it doesn't take that much for somebody to just take that small image and to manipulate that in such a way and then just send it all over online. You will not have any control over that. You can't sue anybody. There's nobody that you can specifically cry to. That image is now out there. So again, you know, I, I would just simply state to women like, hey, be very careful of the images of your families that you decide to go out and place online because you never know what any of the sick people will specifically do with that image. Again, you, you have multi-million dollar or billion dollar uh, corporations trying to come together in order to stop this problem, right? So at least they're trying for, for at least what it's worth, at least the information that we have. We have some people out there that are trying, but again, that's not enough because you need everyday people who have the time and the energy to go out there and report a lot of these images, to report a lot of these profiles. But even within that, that's going to be a little bit difficult and or maybe a touchy subject because people could then state that, oh, why are you so interested in this? Why, why are you spending so much time in this and X, Y, Z, but yet you're trying to do the correct and the right thing. So more than likely what would have to happen is that locally you would have to have some type of a task force where people are given a type of authority. It's not anything major, but a type of authority where their job is to literally go online and to search out these things and report these things. Doesn't matter if it's to the FBI, doesn't matter if it's directly to the police, but their job is to specifically report this. Because again, you can't solely depend on the police to do all this. You can't solely depend on the government to do specifically all of this. A lot of us have to be the ones to go out there and do this and report a lot of these images so that the internet can be as safe as possible for a lot of kids, so that children can be as safe as possible when they move through the internet, when they move through life, right? Again, I'm just trying to, you know, give some type of solution to a, a major problem. And, and, and this has been a problem before AI generated images was even a thing. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in, you know, the comment section below and tell me if you guys have any solutions, um, that deal with this situation here.